This is where the streak might end. Okay, we have brittle bones, which means there's no shortage on health here. Oh, wow. So the main thing I'm worried about on a greedier run is that I spawn in with like one or two hearts and a really weak build. But right now I have six hearts, two of which are filled. And I have a lot of DPS. And a meat cube, so I'm not too worried. Actually, like this seems pretty good. Probably not playing this guy. PJ's is instantly gonna fill all my heart containers if I pick it up. <laughs> all of that for one cent. All right, I'm gonna bomb that actually because if I get if I hit both nickels, yeah, you can just buy PJ's. All right, cool. That's it. We're immortal. <laughs> So cozy. And I'm one cent short to just buy a key and go into the item room, but... Oh, there's a tail rock there. I didn't see that. All right, cool. Uh... Oh, wow, an enemy spawned inside the tinder rock. Bro, I'm just too good at this game. Pure skill, man. Pure skill. That is... What was that jump? That... What a hacker. <laughs> Do I have the range to shoot these guys from here? Sweet. No, I barely don't. Okay, cool. Ah! You know, I feel a bit bad for the viewers who sit here every day asking for greedier mode. Because they want to see me get wrecked. And then greedier mode finally shows up and this is the result. Not to say that this is already a guaranteed win. It's very easy for a greedy run to just not pick something up for like three floors. Right? So we're definitely not through here. But I do maintain that the worst part about greedier is floor one. So for that to be trivial is just, it's very nice. Uh oh. Well, something tells me I'm not taking these guys out in time. Also, look at all these champions. That's another problem with Greedier. There's just too many champions at the early game. To the point where if your build is weak, there's just no way you're keeping up with all of them. I probably want to keep that guy alive. He's just going to accidentally hit stuff with his Ipecac bombs. I'm pretty sure he did. There's some enemies that are not here anymore. Uh, I'll get a mini mosh, sure. I want that too, but I also want a key. I'm gonna buy the key first. I should still be able to get the mini mosh. Can I have my five cents back? Good lord, there's so many hearts on this floor, man. Feels like this guy is bound to pay me. Do you know the save a spot to stay is in the middle? Just watch out for troll bombs. That that makes no sense to me, I'm sorry. Why why would I stay at the spot where I can get hit from eight directions? When I can stay in a spot where I can only get hit from like three or so? <laughs> no, 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 no. Center of the room is probably the worst part you can stay in Greedier. I would not recommend spending a lot of time in the center of the room, except in boss waves, you know, there it can make sense. Let's just do this. All right, I forgot. That's okay, though.
Okay, this is mostly annoying. Okay, so here's the deal. We started with Riddle Bones here, right? Which means we have a lot of hard containers, which is great. But if we spend those in the Devil deal, we actually don't get the tears up that you would otherwise get from hard containers breaking, from bone hearts breaking, right? So I don't think I want Devil deals. I do think I want to spend some more health on this guy, though. I mean, we're still sufficiently protected, and really... That's two out of three, butt knife at least. So I think we're going Angel Rooms again. As we pretty much always do in Greedier. Wow, that really hit me. Okay. Also, uh, grab your popcorn, go to the bathroom, y'all. We're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. The save space is probably the pause menu. I feel like that's a that's akin to uh, sticking your head in the sand. Does that really make you safer? Just because you don't see the dangers doesn't mean they're not there. Safest place to stay. To not get spawn hit, I mean, sure, but as of Repentance, enemies don't immediately do damage to you anymore if they spawn on you, right? That used to be different, in which case I would agree. But now if an enemy spawns on top of you, there's like a one second window for you to move somewhere else. I'm gonna go in here. Don't teleport me to the Devil Deal, please. Puppy's head, ooh. Oh shit, can I have the... No! I lost the devil deal! <laughs> oh, that is tragic. That is also tragic. You know... I actually feel like I, I would win if I took that. I'm not going to, of course, but I, I feel like this is winnable with Tiny Planet. Just wanted to point this out there so people can laugh at me. And also face palm after I skip the caffeine pill. Or move speed and a pill. Hey, I'm capped on tier on, on move speed already. Sweet. That's garbage. Ooh. Well, I do have Copy's head, so. We we were just talking about how I don't typically break the game, right? Let's uh let's keep it that way. <laughs> Twenty break incoming now. Nah. Breaking, breaking greedier turns it from like a twenty-minute run into a fifty-minute run. I don't want to do that. I love how there's just two champions in every wave, just so we can make sure that my buff guppy, guppy flies uh, do not actually take care of anything. Yup, another champion. <laughs> there is some uh, expert meat cubage going on in this run, if I may say so myself. There's the champion. Because of course there's another one. I mean, that is a very good greedier item too, but I think we're gonna go for the item room. I can still take the other thing. That's a good one. Oh boy. It's the bat chub. Except I actually have sufficient amounts of DPS, so I think I'm safe. 
The one that's really bad is when you're in depths and you get two of these guys at the same time with a mediocre build. It's just over if that happens. I need to keep this guy charging so he doesn't spawn enemies. almost hit me I could get the fat odd mushroom I mean that's some damage sure and now for my next trick I'm going to get the most exquisite angel room that you could imagine oh okay I didn't mean to do that but sure let's take the tier right I'm breaking a bone heart You know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a prism in there. I'm feeling a prism. You know what, double damage is also acceptable. Does that activate as long as I have an empty? No, it doesn't. Okay. Gotta find a way to fill our hearts. Like with a health down pill. Fuck up. Sure. Can't get that, fort. Oh, well, that's a butt knife. I'm, I'm gonna go for the full health slash health down pill, man. Great, because of that health up, I have two empty heart containers now. <laughs> Beautiful. Even, even when the pills are good, they mess me up. Not amnesia! Soul of Lazarus, Soul of Apollyon. These guys are buff. You know what? I want to activate the crown. So I'm going to do that. Look at this. The tiniest diamonds in the world. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to recover from that amnesia pill. Oh? Oh, invisible. You know, with Guppy's head, I would swap over to Devil Deals in a heartbeat, but I'm also not going to complain if I find an angel room with Godhead. We cleared most of that room with the double damage, so... Okay, Divorce Papers is nice. We can get that after the boss waves. Obsessed Fan is okay. That's two out of three uh, Lord of the Flies, too. And Obsessed Fan is also stronger due to Hive Mind. I'm terrible. I'm actually the worst at this game. Now I have to defeat Loki with half damage. Or rather with my base damage. Imagine. Look at that. Look at how long this takes. Oh. Could have spent this time making dinner. Take these. It's another bone heart. Do I get the bonus when I break those two? I want to science this up. Oh, I do. Cool. Also should have probably done that at the end of the fight, not at the start. Actually, no, I didn't have the thing. I, I didn't have crown of light up anyway because of the empty red heart container. 
I should use the butt knife here. Look, there's a there's a reason this angel chases you down. It's because they want to get butt knifed. All right, what do we got? Lord of the Pit and Brim Bombs. I don't think either of these are really worth locking in for. Uh, did I go in there? Yeah. All right. Scarred Womb. Mom's Heals. That's four out of three, butt knife. Go into the item room first. Belly button allows me to carry two trinkets in a mode where you barely ever get any. I mean, that's not bad. No, maybe I shouldn't stay down there. <laughs> Why so many champs? Welcome to greedier mode. The place I have regret putting on the wheel <laughs> every time it shows up. Okay, look, this is really annoying. Oh, uh, really? You think those three Lokis are gonna bother me? That's a pathetic game. my best friend do I sacrifice another one of my bone hearts for the curse room I want to. Uh, yeah, 
Uh, sure. Wait, is this the only half heart? I thought I had two. Whoops. And I got the devil deal wave, which is usually multiple bosses or something harder than one boss. It's just matriarch. And that's all you need to know about that enemy. <laughs> like... <laughs> Seriously. Matriarch is my worst nightmare. I'm far, despite what it looks like, I'm far away from being capped on tier, right? So I'm just gonna get that. Hmm. I think I'm gonna buy the heart just to get back to the double damage. Lord knows how long I'm actually gonna hold that, but... I'll try my best. Man, those, those guppy flies have been bangers. What?! I didn't see what hit me! What? I demand a recount! I got hit by something, there was probably a teeny tiny bottle of creep on the floor or something like that i i did not see it it's okay it happens oh god okay i got him just in time How are you not going to phase two, sir? There we go. Love how the horse keeps hitting the fires, the fire up there and taking damage. That's great. Yikes! All right, come on. Lump of coal. You know what? Sure. That's a decent one. I'm gonna use my bomb here. Car battery, Guppy's head seems incredibly tempting, but. We're gonna try and get rid of Guppy's head on the next floor, right? Because it's kind of Garbo against Greed. Then again, there's a lot of other items that car battery is really good with, so let's take it, sure. Look, I, I love Chaos as much as the next person. But it's the second to last floor and I'm gonna have no money. Like, <laughs> it's just not worth it. Weren't you on the last floor too? Hmm. Ooh. Oh, we're gonna get birthright. Mm. 
God, I hate buttons. I'll also be the first to admit that maybe I should have tackled this in a different manner. Maybe just blindly firing isn't the way to beat Envy. Who knows? I've only been playing, playing this game for like 3,000 hours. How am I supposed to know how to beat en uh, Envy effectively? Surely the second button isn't going to be a problem, right? Surely the second button isn't going to make me fight Isaac or something? I mean, that's okay. I was hoping to get like a dime, but... You know... I'm actually not done here, for sure. Like... There's still a lot that can go wrong on this floor, especially with no soul heart sitting here. I'm starting to wonder if the play here is going to be to uh, try and roll for the soul heart slot. As I was explaining earlier, the hardest part about Greedier is usually to me the first floor, or rather the most dangerous one. Second most dangerous is the Ultra Greed fight, and we're kind of approaching the, the territory where that's very true. Birthright or go for a soul heart slot? <clears throat> Birthright. I'm gonna let that sit there. I'm gonna let that sit there and marinate for a bit. See the devil deal and decide. And decide afterwards, because if we get a guppy piece in the devil deal, the choice is obvious, right? But if we don't get the, gu uh, the guppy piece in the devil deal... Well, then the choice is obviously not... Guppy's color. Yellow's got to be worth it, right? A bomb in here, right? Oh, there's a bomb. Oh, Tinted Rock or Golden Chest? Golden Chest has a chance to give me my thingy back. I think we're going for the Golden Chest. Go for the high roll. Okay, well, I got the bomb back. I, I think the Tinted Rock is definitely worth more than the Gray Chest. So we're gonna go for that. Okay, I don't love this, but with the Jello, I don't hate it at least.
How do I know if I'm gonna get the devil or angel room? Well, for starters, there's a thing right here that tells me what my devil and angel room chances are. So when it says 100% devil deal, then I know it's gonna be a devil deal. <laughs> Don't land a coin on my head, please. I need to maintain the crown for as long as possible. He landed a coin on my head. I hate this attack more than any other one. All right, one down. One to go. The soul has been doing an amazing amount of work in this fight already too. I don't know if you guys noticed, but lots of tears that like barely didn't make it to me because of the soul. Especially with his explosive coins. Like not these, but the one he spits at you. They are much easier to dodge due to the soul. I don't like not seeing him. But I think we're fine. Every time we lose a hard container here, we're gonna get more tier raid too, so our DPS increases. I was a bit worried about this fight. I, I thought it was gonna be a bit sketch, but it wasn't as close as I thought it was gonna be. Alright, good one. GG.